Welcome to RottingAlong.com. Today's episode is all about really the simple, incredibly simple topic of creating tension in writing. Tension is something that you accomplish without much forethought beginning. All you really have to do is create one low point and one high point. And there's a certain uh, concept called relativity which comes into play with your writing. And you don't have to have extremes necessarily. That's a task. That's a large task that you may sometimes want to do. Maybe you'll have one like one moment of tension like that, but people aren't looking for that. You, otherwise, you're going to stress the world out. You know, the most intense psychological thriller you've ever seen had a lot of scenes in it where not much was really going on. Uh, you know, but it was the consistency, uh, this culminating effect of release tension release tension release tension it adds up and it builds up and if anything that force of multiple moments instead of just one giant moment is really kind of what lets those types of works shine and what makes them so memorable and effective in terms of that people are looking for that people want to experience that it's part of a living it's fun to know and perceive and experience just kind of extreme passages through different things that uh, roller coasters are a thing, right? Thriller movies are a thing. Uh, horror books are a favorite in the world. And you don't, be ha- you don't have to write in those genres or categories necessarily. You don't have to worry about falling into that. But it doesn't hurt to include them uh, in any kind of things that you create, any content you create. Maybe you want some of that too. Uh, it could be the tone of voice. You don't even do it consciously, but if you do it enough, it happens, which is what happens with your writing too. So I want to talk to you about creating a frequency that people recognize that resembles actual processes going on in their brains and in their bodies so that it corresponds to how they react to it. Why do you want to create tension in your book and your story and whatever you're writing? You thought of it, you clicked here, you're watching, you're listening. There's a reason. Don't ignore it is what I'm going to first of all say. There's a clear and distinct reason why you're thinking about it. Uh, Because it needs to be a part of your writing. Maybe your writing is lacking. It's feeling a little dull. It's just not... It it may be a really heavy topic, which is the thing. You might be writing about something very serious, which is even more discouraging and disheartening when you read it back or have others read it and they don't react to it. And they don't really think it's memorable. They don't care. Uh, you get someone really nice, you know, who's not giving you that harsh feedback that you sometimes need. As a writer on your writing, uh, you may not really always see it, but you'll feel it. You'll, you'll always know that it's something you need to work on. And that dullness is quite easily remedied by little bits and pieces of tension sprinkled throughout. And if you really want to include it all throughout your book if that's what you're going for which some people are some people aren't all you need is here and there have a character just be going through the not boring but you know just the motions of life where nothing is occurring and it's relaxing it's pleasant it's really actually kind of nice uh, sometimes in a book to read something like that or in a movie to watch something like that. The, the characters aren't, there's no pressure on them. They're just living. They're just existing. And then some little conflict comes up and it, it doesn't always have to be that they're, you know, everyone they love has been held hostage. It, it doesn't have to be that. It can be their car won't start. You know, it can be they are a few dollars short on rent or they're hungry but they can't afford something to eat in that in that hour like in that period of time you know it's but you want to make it something that is definitive something that is noticeable as slight as it as it is it can be incredibly slight but as i said it's a culminating effect in your writing you add enough of those Little moments where things are fine and they're not. Things are fine and they're not. And when you do that, it 
It adds, it feels like life. It, it feels like almost harmony. You want to create that place. Have you ever watched something and you don't know why or read something? You don't know why it's so attractive. It's so fun. It's so nice to watch and enjoy and read and be entertained by. But when you really think about it, you're like, it's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> you know, like sometimes it's, it's stupid. It's just not really that great on the outside. So what is that quality that is drawing you to it? Well, what that, I guarantee you, what that work of art, a piece of entertainment, whatever you're concerned, has is a sense of consistency in the tensions that it builds and releases. Uh, because sometimes in your life, it you experience them, but they're not harmonized. They're not occurring at a pace that you can predict. And your brain loves to predict things. It It's a whole forecasting machine. That's what it's all about. Decisions you make are about the results tomorrow, even if you're not consciously thinking about that. And through that kind of uh, life and experience and pretty much just the way that you go about living in the world, you want to know what's going to happen next. And some people are a little more gifted in that department. In their own lives, really. They might know a little more than someone else what's going to happen, but... You don't know when the next big event's going to come. You don't know when someone you love is going to pass away. You don't, you don't know when you're going to lose your job or your income stream. It's all just going to go away and you're going to be on your own. Um, you might be seriously injured. You might get diagnosed with something sick. Or you might uh, win the lottery. You might uh, get a great gift of money to you from somewhere you don't even know where from it, or how it came about. You may meet someone who completely changes your life for the better and uh, transforms everything about who you are for the better. Yeah, but those you, you can't anticipate half of that, more than half of that. But your brain wants to. It's a nice little dream, right? So sometimes, and especially in those moments of feeling a little lost and just a little, I don't know what's going to happen. That in itself can become more intense sometimes. We may experience that even more so uh, in other periods than others. But... In those moments, you may be drawn to something that has a little more of a pace to it. And it you don't have to look up the spoilers of what happens next in the plot or story. Because, you know, it's fictional. Uh, you can look it up, but it doesn't mean you're going to or you're going to ask somebody. Or maybe you even do read it. It doesn't matter, though, because you're going to be there. You're going to be reading that book. You're going to be watching that TV show movie. And everything is going to be happening in a somewhat uh, invisible pattern that your brain recognizes, and it doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before with your eyes, but it's something you've experienced in your mind and you experience every day. And music is pleasing because it's harmonized. It's uh, melodic. It's everything coming together, together in a way that is, again, you don't know what instrument is gonna play what next, but. You have an idea, and you know it's going to happen at that time. You hear a beat, you hear two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two. Steps, frequency, patterns. It's everything that being human is all about. And the second you realize that you can utilize that in your writing, uh, it's going to be amazing. Creating tension is going to be something that transforms your writing uh, from just being this kind of uh, nonchalant experience without any sort of real relation to life or that attractive quality that it should have just isn't going to be there. Uh, it's going to be there when you learn the art of that. And it's not exactly something you're going to hear about all the time everywhere you may have taken writing classes maybe you did maybe you didn't um half the stuff i talk about i didn't learn in a writing class i learned from writing myself and writers before me decades centuries before me and i want to sum it up all here at writing along because if it could have if i could have saved uh, myself that time i would have i would have really been happy um, I hope this can save you some time and bring to light certain concepts to you as well. And I have a feeling it is connecting. 
and you are understanding what I'm saying here, which is tensions are natural. In real life, they're a little unpredictable. We would like them to be predictable sometimes, not even to know what's going to happen, but to know when something is going to happen. And that's what great writing often has, um, always has. It's, it feels good to read. It feels good to see it happen and unfold because you don't know what's going to happen, but you know when it's going to happen in general. You know what's going to happen. And you're expecting that, and that expectation is fulfilled. It's creating an expectation and then fulfilling it, creating it and feeling it. And you can have a giant expectation and then fill it. And guess what? Uh, those are risky moves because, again, it might not fill it for everybody. Someone might be like, really? That's all you have? And that's why there might be a lot of stuff that is really popular, incredibly popular, but to you it's just like, I, come on, I knew something was going to happen, but I knew that was going to happen too. Because some people are a little more gifted in what is going to happen next. Um, some people are more gifted in when something's going to happen next. So there's, there's a wide variety of appeals for stuff. Um, but if you're creating those extreme bouts of tension, just be aware that uh, your writing isn't going to be as accessible. It's going to be very kind of limited in its scope. And I don't really recommend you do that when starting out because it's actually a lot more fun and a lot more, um, a lot more dynamic. Definitely, I would say. This is my opinion. You don't have to follow it too. I think it's more interesting when you have a lot of different moments that add up. I I can't underestimate or understate rather, understate that effect that it's going to have on you and your writing when you learn to start creating tension and putting it here, putting it there, putting it in patterns. If you want to put all of this into a book, check out How to Write a Book in 30 Days. Free 10 part guide I give on my website. Put you free. I don't make a dime off it, but I want you to write your book, all right? So I'll see you in the next episode. And of course, thanks for tuning in today. I will see you on the next episode.